What's up, fam? It's your boy, Kirk Nugent, and we are back with yet another new feature from StreamYard. <laughs> you, you might as well change my name from the Geek Speaker Preacher to the Weary Content Creator. But yeah, you know how uh, you always get that complaint from people who aren't used to StreamYard. They're very used to Zoom. They're like, man, you know, the virtual background thing doesn't work the same. I don't know why it's not doesn't look right. I never had a green screen in Zoom and it worked there. So why does it not work? Uh, the same way in streaming. I don't even know why I'm making that voice. I don't, is, is that what they sound like? I don't know. But the point is that that's actually the major update that StreamYard has come out with this week. Uh, they've completely overhauled the way they're doing virtual backgrounds in StreamYard. And so without any further ado, let's dive in. I'm Kirk Nugent, your live video coach. And on this channel, we show you how to use live streaming to grow and engage an audience, to funnel clients to your business and establish yourself as a thought leader. And in today's video, we're looking at StreamYard's overhauled virtual background feature. Let's figure out how it all works. So we're here on the desktop looking at StreamYard, <clears throat> looking, uh, let's, let's go into the test room. And we don't really have to go very far because right here, as we enter the broadcast studio, we're going to see pretty much immediately the, the, the camera option. Let's go to cam mic and you will see, of course, cameras here. Nothing special there. Everything's the same thus far. But let's go to virtual background and you'll notice right away that here we have the I have a green screen option. If we put our mouse over that, you know how it goes in the system. If you have a question mark somewhere, you want to hover over it to get what information that's going to give you for the highest quality virtual background. We recommend using a well lit green screen. Kudos StreamYard, because that is exactly what I tell all the folks coming into the system. And then it also has a guide for virtual background. It gives some really great tips in there, and I highly recommend you check that out. But I just want to make sure you guys understand and know that this is here like this has changed. This does not look the way it did before. So if I check this right, we're talking about this part right here. If I check this box, you'll see what we're used to comes back. The backdrop color, whether it's green or blue, and then you have the fader. I'm going to uncheck that because I, as you can see, don't have a green screen. I don't have a, 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 a blue screen either. So now you see down here at the bottom, I still have some of the virtual backgrounds that I've used in the past. And we have the blur. Let's put that on and just a second, that's going to come up and you're going to see like I'm in focus, but everything around me has an extra blur to it, which may not look that different because the camera that I'm using had that effect on it already. So, but you should try this out definitely um, in your StreamYard studio and come on, let's see what the results are. So that's a really cool effect. If you don't have a camera that gives you that bokeh, right? That, that creamy background, right? <laughs> that blurry background, that, that effect, then they're giving you that to you now. And you can see that I don't have a background on me. So the next thing we can do is put up an actual virtual background. Now, you know, that's actually pretty good with no green screen behind me. I have this this look already. It looks like I'm sitting uh, kind of sort of on top of this couch, if you will. But I'm I'm in this virtual room. Let's put up the brick wall. OK, now I have some color lights on in in my studio. Maybe I need to turn those off. I don't know. But the desk is gone, right? All of the things that are happening around me is gone. Um, I can put up this other virtual background. This is one that I was using for a client. And again, you can kind of get a better feel for what that looks like. And this is the update that they have come out with. Um, obviously, in your studio, depending on how busy your background is, this could be a really great effect. Uh, for us all to be able to use. So definitely think about that. Definitely think about the blur background for those times when it isn't quite clean in your in your setup, in your studio, wherever you're streaming from, and you still want to go jump on the live stream. The blur background thing is a really cool effect. Let me know in the comments what you think about this, because that's the entire thing. And I'm excited that they brought this, but I just can't believe how many functions and features StreamYard has been rolling out 
over this what month period it's been crazy so there you have it we have uh the ability to use virtual backgrounds in a way that we haven't before um i don't know if you remember what it was like before but if you if i tried any of those virtual backgrounds without a green screen and you can go back and check some of the videos where i walk you through the whole virtual background thing in the how it all works Streamyard academy uh, that we did back in july but if you look at that, you'll you'll notice that when I tried it without the green screen, it did not work at all. So this is a huge leap forward. And of course, if your background isn't as busy as mine, this could absolutely be a very clean look um, a very, very, you know, a very a large step forward in terms of those who want to use virtual backgrounds. And again, it, they really do have some good tips on how to do virtual backgrounds. Well, again, let me know in the comments what you think about these. It's a lot of functions and features being added to the platform. I'm interested. I'm, 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 I'm constantly baffled and amazed at what they're doing. And I've heard about a couple others that I that have not come out yet. So what that means is I've got a lot more work to do. But man, I'm excited about these these things because they shift the way we are able to show up and present ourselves. Um, I always say this to folks, how you look on camera the the quality the color the the clarity all that stuff is just to stop the scroll it does not take away from the need to have good content content that is enriching content that is valuable content that will impact the people who are watching your live stream so never discount that part but while we have these toys at our disposal we may as well play with them right okay let me let me leave it there it's your boy kirk nugent the weary content creator no the geek speaker preacher <laughs> hoping that somewhere in the video today we got you a little closer to figuring out how it all works and i'll see you probably very soon in the next video later